The first flights are now up and flying as the U.S. kicked off its permanent program to fly deported immigrants deep into Mexico. The 10-news reporter Michael Chen looks at the one reason some believe the plan is a waste of taxpayer money. This is a one-way flight from the U.S. If you're undocumented, you may get a seat. I think that's uh, unfair because putting apart the families. Miguel, who is undocumented, asked us not to show his face. On Thursday, the U.S. began the so-called deportation flights. The undocumented are brought in from all across the country and flown from El Paso, Texas to Mexico City in the hopes of discouraging them from making the long trek back to the border. Last year, a two-month pilot program sent back 2,364 Mexicans on 18 flights. Now the program is permanent, but will it work? Miguel, who crossed illegally into the U.S. 18 years ago, says no. I don't think it's going to make a difference. They're still going to try to come back. He says the journey from Mexico City, although a long one, can easily be made with a three-day bus ride, a small obstacle for those looking to get back into the U.S. While illegal immigration levels are at a 40-year low, Miguel says most who are deported are coming back. The situation in Mexico, that there's no jobs, and there's no the situation is bad, and they just come here to look for a better life. He says many must try to cross again because they have family in the U.S. But immigrant advocates say the deportation flights may deter some from trying to cross again. Glenn Larson is a pastor at a Poway church. I think of undocumented workers, those that are unattached uh, without family uh, connections, uh, would be most affected by that. There will be two flights a week, each carrying about 130 people. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for ICE declined to talk about the cost, although estimates for last year's two-month program, $100 million. Michael Chen, 10 News.